Aquarius to your February love reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Just a few more days and it will be Valentine's Day. Almost time to get rid of this wintry table and put it back to normal. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you and your beautiful love reading. Best messages coming out for love. Show us some good love. Who is coming towards them? Please, Spirit, let us know. We have the Queen of Cup, uh, excuse me, Queen of Pentacles coming out, a nurturing person, a person who is working, could even be a working parent. This person could have children, doesn't have to. Um, it's just talking about their reliability. Uh, this is the charming, uh, charming Capricorn energy coming out over here. There we go. No falling. Okay, this is a very secure person, a person who looks at their pinnacle, whether it's male or female. Um, this is a charmer. person who likes to charm. But is a very stable person, though, as well. With, you know, they like their stability. Okay, so the eye on that pinnacle. We have the Ace of Wands coming out. This is talking about new projects. This person... Um, has the urge to want to create. They've had a lot of growth throughout their life, and they're also taking on a, a lot of new opportunities. So they may even have just this new job or may have started a new business. Um, yeah, this person also had a lot of growth after a lot of sorrow um, and a lot of personal setbacks within their life. So it, it almost feels like they're kind of finding their peace during 2024 after kind of a long struggle. Um, and now they're ready to get out there and be the knight in shining armor following their heart. It's a romantic, creative person. Could also be dealing with a Cancer or an Aries or a Sagittarius <clears throat> or a Scorpio. This person knows exactly where they're going. They have the an ambitious drive. For a lot of you, this person is an entrepreneur, I, I do believe. I think they own their own business or are trying to start up their own business or just started up their own business. Um, doesn't have to be, but this is a, a brave person, a person who's gone through a lot of stuff and has found their bravery um, when it comes to love, love, career, everything. I just feel like they've like pretty much just kind of uh, reinvented their whole life over here with the Ace of Wands. They've had a lot of growth, a lot of healing, and they're just definitely ready to move on to new, bigger areas of their life and ready to open up their heart um, again after some kind of maybe terrible divorce or something of this nature. Something really bad within a relationship has happened, or maybe they've even had a lot of financial failure um, as well. Maybe they lost a lot. Maybe, shoo, you know, you go through divorces, you lose a lot of assets. So it does feel like this person's coming back kind of from the grave. Um, definitely seeing the two of cups behind them when they couldn't see it for a long time. Um, they are a very hard worker. They have a routine. So they're a very routine-based person. They know exactly how they're going to get their money, and they have the strength and the self-will to get to where they need to be. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo. Um, this person is a very giving person. They want to give you love and they expect it to back to them. And of course they would, because if they just got out of a horrible relationship, maybe they got out of a horrible relationship where it was all about greed. It was all about no Reese. You know what I mean? Like I, I give and give and give, but you never give back to me. So the, whoever they were dealing with could have been, Ooh, it could have been a very jealous and faithful person, a person who could have been, um, who could have tore up the family over here as well. Um, wow. So definitely feeling like whoever they were dealing with before was very unfaithful. Could have been a cheater um, going outside the homestead. However, it is giving money away to other places, other things, had a gambling problem, something that made it just, just destroyed this person. Um, but this person is definitely all better. <laughs> this person is all better. It's like, yay. Right. Thank God. And they're ready to give their cup away. They're ready for love. They're ready to give you their cup of love. They're ready for the 10 of cups after a long, it could have even been a long period of time that they have been waiting to 
you know, to find love again. So they definitely see this connection coming together. They are the type of person who wants to dance with the universe, wants their nine of cups, wishful thinking, and they're really seeing you as a person that they can progress something with. So they do see you as their victory over here and their ace of pentacles. Wow. They do see you as kind of a gift from the universe, um, right, coming towards them, where it does feel like they've had a lot of hard heartache and a lot of conflict, as you can see. So definitely feeling like you are the one that can, you know, make their heart sing. Let's put it that way. Clarifying on the situation. Person is a very creative person as well. That's they, they want to make an effort with you, and they're hoping that you'll make the effort with them. They want to give this relationship a chance. They're hoping that you will make this relationship because they are very playful, but they're not seeing you as deception. They do not want any deception, and this person doesn't have any deception. The deception is in reverse. So you know, they're just like done with it. You know, anybody who wants to be greedy or hurt them or any of those things, right? So this is a very truthful, honest person. Um, <clears throat> this person, you, you don't have to worry about them being, having any kind of codependencies because the only thing that they have is exactly what they work for, right? But for them, um, it's allowing the situation to unfold naturally. So make sure that you allow that to do so because this person's gone through a lot of forgiving and learning within their life, right? And now it's safe for them to love again. So they're hoping that you will really take their, their, um, cup of love over here and really open up and have heart to heart conversations with them because they love talking and they love, it could be a Leo. <laughs> they love talking, a Leo or a Libra. I uh, love talking. Um, so, you know, they're the type of person, though, that really likes to have these open-hearted communications. It's almost like to the point where it's like, if, if something goes wrong within the situation, please come to me and let's talk about this situation. Let's have this open, you know, this open conversation. I think that the person they were dealing with before used to hide a lot of things, um, was a lot of unfaithfulness. Yeah, I have the wedding upside down, so this divorced person, more than likely for the majority of you. Or a person who may have get, was getting ready to get married and then never happened. Um, wow. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's a beautiful relationship. See the two of them together, please. There's this relationship folding together. Sexual freedom. Oh, I like that. Let's express ourselves and have the freedom to express each other. They like that, right? course you know they're not the type that's gonna keep the lights out keep the lights out don't see me naked <laughs> what are we 15 okay 16 17 18 19 20 i don't know right we're not teenagers and then we're not in college right you don't have to turn off the light I didn't really mean to say 15. It was more like 16. I was in high school, but it doesn't matter. Who gives a shit, right? Okay, so we have the silver waterfall over here. So it is saying that this person has had a lot of healing, um, right? They just really want you to date with them. They want to offer you this date, but this is the type of person who wants to romance and dance you. And oh my gosh, right? Because you have this, like, I don't know. This is just like, wow. Very, very romantic person over here. I don't know why. I just want to think that this is the type of person who wants to pop up in a bottle of wine with you and take you out to some Italian restaurant with all the candles. Um, and if the, you're the guys, you know, you're the one doing that with them. I don't know why, but you would want to do this with this person, right? I mean, just like seriously, like depending on who I'm talking to, Right. You're just like, I would totally bring this person to this Italian restaurant and pop up in this bottle of wine with you and let you, you know, I don't know, this lady in the traps, share some spaghetti. I don't know. However you want to see it, guys. But I'm just saying it's this person is a romancer and or a lot of you, I think, are, too. And you're just waiting for this situation. Um, yeah. There's a beautiful connection coming towards you, one that you can dance under the moonlight with, watch the sunset, watch the sun rise, you know, oh my gosh, yeah, and there's going to be a lot of compatibility, so, you know, you're going to have a lot of choices on things that you want to do together, it's not one of those things where it's like, you know, do you want to go have, you know, 
tacos and they're like, I don't like tacos, you know. No, there's like a lot of compatibility and a lot of choices that are going to go on within this situation. There's a lot of, see, chivalry, a lot of romance. This is a romantic person, a person who wants to, you know, make sure that you are taken care of. They want to grow the seeds with you. They want to make sure that you're happy, that you're fulfilled, that you're, you know, that you're taking care of. They want to take care of you, and I just feel it's mutual. You know, and there's nothing more beautiful in a relationship than making sure that we're both, we're both de-weeding the garden. Right? To make sure that all the flowers are blooming, all the flowers are coming together. I want to make sure that you're happy, and I want to make sure that, you know, and you make sure I'm happy. Right, because that's the way the relationship is. It takes two to tango, and this is a relationship that shows that you two are, see, there's that wine. I told you what I say about that wine. Making sweet, beautiful music together. Okay, it's my channel. I'll make it cheesy. <laughs> it's my channel. I'll make it cheesy. But there is a lot of intimacy, though, right? Because it's abundance. It's the abundance of love. The abundance of like, wow. But you have the queen of pinnacles. Who else besides the imprints could you do such a beautiful thing with, right? Who else would want to do such beautiful things, right? They want to make sure that you're taken care of, you know? They want to make sure that you feel luxurious. Queen of pinnacles wants to make sure everybody is comfortable, you know? She's the one that makes sure that everyone's comfortable. She is like, you know, she's the one also that whether it's male or female, it doesn't matter. When you come to their house, they're the ones that are like, would you like something to drink? Would you like an hors d'oeuvre? You have hors d'oeuvres? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> right? <clears throat> yeah, it reminds me of my grandma. My grandma was a Capricorn. She's like totally that way. It's like she's the only person in the world that I know that like makes cookies and stuff before people come over, right? And make sure that you're there because they're always making sure you're comfortable. Here, sit in the comfy side of the couch. Here, put your feet up. Here, let me bring you a cookie. Here, let me have, let me bring you a soda. You know, what else would you like, right? Because they're very comforting. They want to make sure you're always taken care of. And that's what this person is doing. That's why they're the greatest, right? This is like the seven of of uh pinnacle wait seven of pinnacles yeah seven of pinnacles nine of pinnacles i always kind of see it as the nine of pinnacles in a lot of ways because it's almost like i'm over here making sure that all your wishes are fulfilled so you could say between the seven of pinnacles and the nine of pinnacles because the more that you put in and the more in time that you invest into a relationship the more beautiful the garden gets so see it how you want it i'm going to say it's both two and one nine of pinnacles and seven of pinnacles because anytime we tend to the garden, then it will become the nine of pentacles. And they definitely want to tend to your garden. Look, he's making sure that everything is beautiful in a row. There's no weeds in this garden. And I love these trees because you see these trees are all beautiful women. He's making sure everything is beautiful for these trees. Making sure everything is taken care of. Making sure everything is blossoming. Making sure that everything has its beauty. And there's a woman in that tree, too. Wow. And there's women in these flowers. Wow. So, however it is, he's just going to make sure there's no weeds there. Kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, guys. I don't know why. I think it's like when she walks into the garden, they're like, are you a weed? <clears throat> but anyways... They just definitely want to make sure that you're taken care of. But the thing I like about it is because that's exactly what you want to offer back. Because that's what you're waiting for. That's what we're all looking for, right? It's what everybody on the planet really wants, you know? Wants to make sure that there is, you know, that's what makes beautiful love. Is making sure that everybody is on the same page, you know? Oh my goodness. I don't even think I have an overall card for the situation because I feel like that was it. I feel like the page of cups was, was it the happy surprise, the dreams coming true, the sensitivity, the love, the creativity, the messages of love that want to, you know, overfill this cup. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love.